Hello friends, in this video we will learn how we can configure open API in our Django's API documentation. What exactly is open API? Open API is a uh, documentation generation tool to display the API. It also generates the code for server and client in various programming languages. Uh, it also support testing tool where we can hit and try how API are actually working what kind of response we are getting and there are many other use cases as well uh, an api specification have two things uh, one is the documentation and one is the uh, documentation contain the description about your uh, api like request response uh, what kind of content it's required api client uh, uh, provide the sample code in various programming languages like python node are to how we can interact uh, with the api right so in this video what we will do we will create one django app and one simple api and then we will configure open api uh, in our django application so that we can see how uh, the documentation will look like okay so uh, I have some samples here like it they have two options one is the swagger and one is the uh, read UI format for the documentation so it will look something like this this is the read doc format where here is the API list and here the description about the API and this is the request and this kind of response you will get okay. and here in the, in the swagger view you can also just hit and try just try out and it will give you the response back right so now what we will do uh, first let's set up the django application okay so here i have already created virtual environment for this video you can create by using virtual env or python one so let's first install uh, django okay uh, install Django. Uh, we will create an API using the Django REST framework. So let's install that as well. Django REST framework. Okay. Now let's create now uh, Django project. Django admin dot project. Naming it open API. Here is our API. Let's open this in our code editor. So here is our application, right? Uh, let's create one app as well Django admin dot app hold api here is our api app okay so just add this in our installed app we are use we will use also a Django rest framework so let's Add that as well. Okay, now save it. So our first goal is to create one simple API so that we can configure the open API for the documentation. So let's uh, go in our API folder and inside the model. Let's set up one model first. In this, I'm using a student example models dot model and here couple of fields uh, name this will be a care field and max length and just adding 20 okay and gender this would be also a character field uh, let's create this gender as a Choice field. Under models dot text choices. 
here you can define mail mail and more others and add the max length and this should be the one character because it will store in this value and choices would be for gender dot choices and one more field i'm adding here uh, is active this would be a boolean field if it would be a true okay and let's add one more choice called status uh, let's remove this status just add a created date and a pretty date models dot date time and just add a to now add date and same for the updated date and this would be a auto now whenever we update it will update the time and let's create one more field it this would be the integer field okay now we have a model now create api in this framework we have to create one serializer and view as well so let's create serializer so first serializer from rest framework import model serializer and serializers okay so uh, the serializer name i'm naming it a student serializer and this would be a model serializer okay model serializer and here you have one inner class called meta and here you have to define model name here and the fields here okay what are the fields would be in a tuple or a list so let's import our model from dot models import a student so let's press this a student model and the field would be id name age gender is active and we created it and updated it okay so here is our uh, serializer now we have to also create view so that we can interact so i am using i am going to use a model view set it will give you all the endpoint for create update list from rest framework import view set view set okay. and create a class and naming a student view set and this would be a model view set model view set here we have to define couple of things first one is serializer class okay and second thing is the query set query set basically what data we want to return in the list okay so for the serializer let's import our serializer serializer import student serializer and replace this to and serializer in the query set so first import our model A query set would be the for the all data we want to return so this is our uh, api right and then we need a one url to 
access this so let's create the router so router dot p yeah, from base framework import router default router yeah, at routers import default router you can define router basically Router dot register. Okay, and we have, we have to define the user in the view set. Let's import our view set from dot views import event view set. let's include this uh, router in our main url so that we can access the open api in the let's first include the path then add the path here i'm adding a blank for now equal a router so you have to first import the router from api dot routers import router to be router dot urls so we have an url so let migrate our database so first go in our division uh, then migrate make migrations oh we are getting an error uh, no module api uh, why it's because uh, we have created our api outside the our project so let's add this in our project now we detect so here our migration just migrate the same Now we have migrated let's run the server well if you go in the root directory there is our api at the api root where we can create so before inserting any data let's set up the open api so to set up the open api uh, we will use drfs spectacular uh, library okay so let's install this first we can install drf hyphen spectacular for this now we have to add this into the installed app so let's Setting file installer here. So let's save this as well. Now, one more thing we have to add the default schema class in our uh, REST framework setting. So, let's copy this. Just add at the end. now one more thing we have to do we have to add the url so that we can access the uh trigger view that redock view to add this we have these two view a redock view and the swagger view so let's copy this and open your main url file just import the Okay, and you have to add these two URL to these two view. Let's say copy. So this is the URL. So I'm just adding doc and the doc. Okay, so let's open this URL. What we will get? doc okay so let's run the server first okay 
है यार रिवर्स फॉर स्की मार नॉट फाउंड राइट स्केटिंग एरर बिकॉज है ओपन एप के रिक्वायर्ड डॉट या मल फाइल दे कैन रीड एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग दैट दे कैन रीड एंड डिस्प्ले ऑन द व्यू सो दैट इज दिस वन सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस व्यू You have to add this URL as well. Okay. So now refresh the page, and here we go. We have the shader view, right? And we have also the uh, redock view. Here you can see there are a lot of things here like schema we are getting here and this is list you can customize this in like title you can customize you can customize the description request response cycle it so we will see in the next video how we can customize these all things so first let's customize some all things Uh, like the title and other thing to customize the title and other stuff you have to override the spectacular setting in your setting file so just add this in your setting here is the title this is the description this would be the version and this is the for the schema that you are we are seeing this is the schema if it, all then it will goes out right so let's say this file and just refresh the page here you can here you can see as uh, schema is gone now right and if you go in the documentation part uh, the doc part uh, doc here you click on in the title right this is the description you can also test these api if you like the uh, and just click on try out and execute it it will give you the output and there is no data so let's add for the data the post api will add right so this is our request add uh, name something this ads the mail you okay. click execute now here we go we have a 201 status code and this is the response okay. now if we run now the get api it will give one record here we go there are other uh, endpoint also implemented like id if we click on get by id so you have to pass an id one and then it will get this if it does not exist then it will throw an error 404 detail what right. we can also uh, use update to update the detail to delete if you click, click on delete we have to pass the id then delete from the database as well now if we run the get then we will get a blank Right. there is no data so this is the uh, open api that we can configure in our django application in the next video i will show you how we can customize this ui and request and response also